Hello there, this is Canuck Cowboy here. This is part two of disassembling your Winchester Model 12. I'm now going to disassemble the fore end. All right, so we covered uh, disassembling the uh, receiver and removing the buttstock from the receiver and all that in the first video. This is going to be taking your magazine uh, tube off. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, now this front pin that uh, we moved in the previous video we turn this to detach it from the receiver well now this pulls all the way out and you'll see on the one side it has this little groove in the side with this metal spring in it you're going to want to take your uh, little screwdriver or something this is sort of a pain I don't know if I can get it here on video but uh, you gotta depress that little spring and pull it out just like that. There's that pin. Now, there's these little springs in the sides you're gonna wanna take out, so they just turn out, but I'm gonna warn you, keep your good hang hold on the top of that because that spring is wanting to let go. And if you don't keep a good hold on it, you're probably gonna get a hunk of metal in your face and you're probably going to lose valuable parts you'll never find them again because they'll go behind your bed like they do with me. So, very gently, we want to let this release without causing ourselves bodily harm. Okay, now there's your uh, lid there. There's your spring. There's your follower, just like that. Now, what you can do is this little screw right here. I believe it'll only come off on one side. There's a screw on each side, as you can see, but I believe it's only on the left side. I may be wrong, but you only need to take it off on one side, so we're gonna say it's the left side. That screw comes out just like that. Then this all can come forward. And just like that. You'll see right in here, this right in here has this little groove. And on your stock, on your uh, barrel, it has this little ridge with little grooves in it where the screws go. So it's pretty simple. I don't know how you can see it there, but it's pretty easy to figure out once you are uh, got it down to this point. So there you go. There's pretty much your strip barrel. The only thing I can do left more with this, because this was uh, modified. Uh, after it left the factory and had one of these pretty cool uh, choke tubes put on it, adjustable poly choke. I can just unscrew that and you can see it's got these little prongs here. That's just when you tighten this down, it tightens, pulls a uh, constrictor in around these and pulls them tighter or looser, however, depending how you want the choke. So it actually works pretty good. It's a really cool design, I think. Some people say they don't like the looks of them. It does look kind of lethal on the end of it. Some say it looks downright ugly, which to each his own, but it works really good, and that's uh, that's really all I care. So I personally, I would recommend getting one of these if you're not looking for collector value because they're just handy and they work pretty good. So poly choke, cool little device. There it is right there. So there you go. You can clean this up. Now you can actually unscrew this thing off of here and we're not going to mess with that today because that's a bigger pain in the butt project. So we're not going to do that. Right now, uh, this is as much as I'm going to strip this down. You can pull this off and there's this little spring here. I almost lost my spring. You can see it's just a flat piece of metal there. You're going to want to be careful. If you put that back in its original position, you're going to be careful you don't lose that. I personally actually don't really know what it does, but I'm sure it does something and you want all the parts to your gun there. I mean... That's just smart. So, as I say, I'm not going to be claiming to be an expert on this kind of stuff. I'm just 
showing you my experience. So here we go. Now that's pretty much a strip down as much as I'm going to do it. Uh, for cleaning purposes, that's all you're going to need it to. I'm not tearing apart this uh, really nice, like, 50-some-year-old foregrip just to uh, get this tube out of it. So uh, I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, like I say, that's the foregrip. It's pretty simple, actually. My next video will be putting uh, everything back together, starting with the receiver. So uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time.